What's going on, YouTube, man? Hey, it's your boy, Pat, man. We, I'm in the driver's seat today. Are oh, we bringing that back? Yeah, man. What's your boy, Trey, man? I'm shotgun with the shotgun. Yeah, you know how this go, man. Yeah, man, it's the Real All Twins. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man, this video right here is going to be different. And it's going to be litty. What we doing, man? Man, if y'all seen the previous video to Eminem, Jack Harlow, and Corday, there was some lines in there that y'all probably ain't even hear. Y'all probably might have missed these lines or even, bro, I just say you either missed it or we they're just, very important lines you should be paying attention to. We just feel like there's some lines in there that we can tap into, man. So <laughs> today we finna go through and pull out some of the lines that we thought was dope and we just gonna talk about them. Now, you know, Eminem went last, so before we even get to Eminem, let's just start with Jack Harlow, man. Hey, man, let's start, let's start with Jack Harlow, man. I'm going to just come off top and say this. Uh, bigger than the lines, though, uh, Jack Harlow did a lot of homage paying to Eminem. Like, oh, he yeah. said he used to rock the headphones just like him, saying he was on a track with his, his idol. idol. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that was a good one. I actually, another line that I pulled, like, that I heard that I thought was kind of funny, was when he was talking about the how he get girls and he not a Twitch streamer. Yeah, I called a, I called them for the for the beamer. Uh, I mean, I called them for the front a steamer. Called a front desk for a steamer. I'm uh, a bad bitch bagger. I'm a bitch bagger, not a Twitch. Not streamer. a Twitch streamer. Yeah. It's funny because that to me, I was thinking like on Twitch. I see a lot of Twitch dudes on there and they like try to get doing the e dating type. Yeah, they do a lot of oh, okay. I'm gonna set you up with this date or they would just be talking to girls on Twitch. Which is cool, but he like basically like saying, I'm not a Twitch streamer. I get these this, girls in real life. That. He's so really I thought that stuck out to me too. He did a lot of like flexing and cool stuff. Yeah, so we're gonna cool. move forward to Corday verse. Uh, Corday, he got a couple of things in there. Um, I don't wanna take him out of like, I wanna, I got some on my phone yeah, yeah, read that them, I got. Read so I'm gonna just read some that stuck out to me. Like we go, we going into the newts and crannies. Cause I know a lot of people like, oh y'all missed that. We can't get it on the first well, take Well now we finna time. start doing these when we so we feel gonna, like it. We gonna know? have breakdowns, little mini breakdown videos. And if y'all like them and fuck with them, let us know, man. We'll do this with a lot of videos. Right here, he said, a whole generation of geniuses I'm influencing. I only hang with real niggas who I'm congruent with. Don't sleep on them lines. Like, do not sleep on that. Like, that's on, so man. dope because of the artists we have grown to love. It was artists that they listened to that, was, that influenced them. Facts. And now we'd be like, okay, J. Cole. Yeah. Just like, just the mind, like, just to hear those words and already be that type of creative artist. I mean, take personally, you, to a, yeah, you just, know what I'm saying? Personally, J. Cole did that for me. Like, yeah. when you say you lead a generation or you, or you trying to develop the minds of those people. Like, I would mm -hmm. sit back and listen to Cole, and that shit would put me in a mindset where I was like, okay... I, yeah. I do see some of these similar things going on in my life, but there is a different way to go about that. So if you really think, if that's his mission, right? shout out to him for accepting that mission. Like, okay, yeah. let me use this to take them down the right path. And that's like, like, that's even like off of the bar in the same verse where he said that he see his, like his creations increasing. Yeah. Because it's like, the you stuff think he's it was, doing, no matter what, like whether they rap or not, the stuff he's saying can apply to them kids and when they think however they think they can do some crazy stuff so the next 10 or 20 years you might see something from Corday like oh Corday I used to listen to Corday where you'll be thinking like damn I remember when I used to listen to Corday mm -hmm. and what he doing so that was a that was a line that Corday I had that was, he had another one where was he was clever. talking about like all the hard work and the stuff he put in mm -hmm. uh you would think it was mapped out or something like that. Oh what yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. That's, that line. Okay. Um, I'm in the moment of, of my life where shit is falling in line. And looking back, I swear to God, you think it you probably thought it was you think it was a design it was designed. Like basically saying, like it was the way it's going and it's falling in line for me it's and the things up I've first, done, but now you would think you would think that it was yeah. already put in place. Which it was, man. It was God's grace. My God. Smart, it was, you had to go through them things. But that's, that's a hard line right there. Now, it's just a couple things. I, we just going to move forward. Shout out to them. We had to give them their flowers. Yeah, man. But shout out to a Corday couple and things and that M mentioned in the song that if you wasn't listening properly, right. you would have missed it. We may have spoken on some of them in the other video, but we got to we gotta highlight these things, bro. Mm -hmm. Now, first. You got a lot of shit in this, in this, in this verse there. 
Okay, boom. So this is what, okay, this is real. Y'all got, y'all got to listen to this. He said, uh, if there's a rapper I haven't ate, we ain't battle. Either that or they won't collaborate because pad or paper freestyle will settle that debate. I could, I call it guillotine style because even off the head, I decapitate. Yeah, bitch, I go harder than Carter 3. Now, I just want you to look at how that's formatted. Yeah. A lot of people is I, feeling like that was a shot to Wayne. Yeah, because it was like a setup. Find, it was a setup line. Exactly. It's for like saying what he's. It's the body before the bitch. I go harder than Carter three. And then they gotta they say what question? What like who said yeah. that? So, so I don't recall Eminem being on a song with that. That to Louisiana. me. <laughs> that to me is that could be the basis for a versus battle. Honestly, hey, look, it could be the basis for it because I don't think they've collaborated before and I don't have to do research because I'm not here to come and be like, this is facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah we, this, is, this is lines. This is lines so, that we thought that we was like, let's touch on these lines. I'm like, I, I haven't really heard a song from them two together. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard them dissing each other. So he like, I'm better than all, all of them. Right. And then he like, but the only ones that you can exclude from that, we haven't went toe to toe or they don't want to collab mm -hmm. but a pen pad freestyle could settle the debate and then he says i go harder than carter three what but that's that's a crazy Sorry. line because off j cole new album didn't he mention something like that like saying that they don't want to get on they don't want to do nothing they don't yeah. want to collaborate with, with him yeah so it's like yeah. i'm not saying that because he'll walk about the move dude cole, westbrook rock a baby that would be another good one as far as bar for bar oh, eminem on the same track with j cole yeah they would eat straight bars it's, so it's a lot so i just we just found it yeah. strangely odd that the carter three, that carter was three came right up, so after that you with have him to. saying he go harder than it this was a very brief line but i noticed a lot of people didn't catch on to it and he said the only l i ever took was when i lost proof yeah <laughs> so yeah. i mean y'all if you're an eminem fan you know who proof is d12 you know the whole thing but he always keeping proof alive in his raps and he said that's the only l he ever took yeah and, and then he followed up with that saying like if he, the only time he ever got served was with a uh goddamn lawsuit so like it's like he ain't got served he ain't took no l's and then even in there you seen the the dre uh, okay, so that was the third line I was gonna go to. That yeah. was that was really the last point that I really want to put out there. It's yeah. just because I know we touched on it in the video, but I didn't notice the fact that he said he actually had a phone call with him, uh, and he talked to uh, Dr. Dre and was like, "Yeah, we good. Like, there is no issues there." So I find it strangely odd that he poked that wing, and then him and Snoop's situation is dead. So that's not a bad thing to me. That's actually kind of dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would like to see something come from that. You know what I'm saying? Because it can't do anything but help both of them at this point. I don't think it's going to get personal. Yeah, man. Feel Shout me? out to that situation. And then we got a lot of funny, like, Eminem y. Eminem -y. Yeah, it's a lot. Eminem -y type bars, and they're like, uh, dying laughing is the only way you're killing me. Type. Dun, 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 you see dun, it? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, we got a lot of cool type lines in there that we can. Touch on. Yeah, I just went but for a lot of those. The, those was more of the type of question mark, like the what came at what? That's the because they always say when you put what after the ones that you be like what? Because you really yeah. thinking like what? What did he just say? Those was just so, the things of this song that I felt like boom. Yes, yeah, so you know what I'm saying. Like you should give these lines more thought. And yeah. I want to say shout out to the other artists that was on there because they held their own. They did like this was just a great song, bro. We had to try yeah, we this had new to, material out to that. Yeah, this because, is yeah. If y'all like this type oh. of content with us going in and actually like going through the lyrics and like giving y'all this type of like what our thoughts. Looking for some gems, you may have call missed. it dissecting in deep. You know what I'm saying? A little claws, deeper dissect. A little deeper dissect. But no, if y'all enjoyed this, man, make sure that y'all get in the comment section, man. Let us know how y'all feel. Click the video hit like on here man we running it up y'all know we ain't playing we lit off summer man real off yeah. twins man find another video this one over.